What is up guys, welcome to Diving Garage. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to properly install a timing set on your engine so that it fires up the very first time, but I gotta tell you, it's not the way you've been told. Let's dive in. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is get the old lower gear off, and that's pretty simple. All we're gonna use is a two jaw puller, get that thing right off. Man, I break out the big dog for that one. All right, so if you're doing a budget build and you got your lower timing gear ready to go, you'll see ones that have several keyways. I actually swapped over to this simple version for this build, and it's for that exact reason. If you're not worried about cam timing, if you're just trying to get an engine up and running, just go with one of these with a the single keyway. It takes all the guesswork out of it, and we can keep on going. And to put this in, we just need two simple things. First, you just want to kind of get it. Um, there are two sides of this timing gear. There's a like beveled side. If you can see that there, it's like a beveled side. That goes towards the engine, the flat side goes out. So you just wanna get that sitting on there, like so. And all we're gonna need is a big socket and a medium weight hammer. And we're just gonna drive it all the way down until it stops on the crank. That easy. There you go. I don't know if you hear that audible change, it went from like sort of a dead dull to like a sharp um, ping, and that means you're done. Yeah, sharpness, you're good to go. Now you got your lower uh, timing gear on, and we can keep on going. All right, then we're going to move this to where the alignment uh, dot is facing straight up. Right now we're just turning the crank, not synced quite yet. There we go, let that face it straight up. And grab your new chain. And first, first thing we're gonna do before we go installing it is we're gonna get the key lined up and we're gonna make sure that when we're assembling, we're dot to dot. But that that's what I'm gonna talk about in a little bit here, guys. So you can see right there, currently we are dot to dot and that is okay. If you look at your camshaft, you want the alignment tab facing roughly three o'clock. And then we're gonna put, uh, we'll put the chain on, put these bolts in, torque these this back. And this is a nice dual roller setup from Cloy's. These are pretty affordable, so don't be afraid to spend like 20 bucks or so on a new timing set when you're doing a new build, because that'll work out just fine for you. See, there we go. So now we, of course we have a little bit of movement. We haven't got it locked down yet, but see how here are dot to dot for now. See there? Can you see? How about now? There we go. All right, let's get this thing torqued down. This really don't take much. 20 pounds is plenty. And if you want, you can put some thread lock on there, like I said. Um, but this was really not a high torque area. Now, another thing you want to do while you're in this area is if you've got a true double roller, check that clearance right there. You might have to do some grinding. Now is a good time to rotate the engine, find problems, and solve them now <laughs> before you're trying to run this thing. So that's what I'll do right now. Let's see. I think we'll be good, but never hurts to check. Okay, all right, now that that's in there, let's take a quick sec to talk about why you don't want to leave your timing chain like this. Because what's going to happen is that you're going to try to fire your engine, get the distributor in, spark plugs, all that, and you're going to find that your engine does not fire. Not only that, it'll probably shoot flames out of the carburetor, and you're going to be questioning life, potentially making bad decisions, and threatening to burn this thing down if it doesn't fire up. <laughs> but the problem is when you leave your engine like this, that's actually the exhaust stroke. What you want to do is this right here. Right now we're lined up dot to dot. Let's go 180 degrees out to where we have the top dot facing up and the cam sprocket facing straight up. Right there. So now we can see we have our crankshaft with the alignment dot straight up and we have our camshaft with the alignment dot straight up. And in this configuration, your engine is guaranteed to fire up first try. 
a lot of people skip this. This is for some reason a controversy. I'm not sure, but uh, it's this is the way it is, guys. There's plenty of old GM tech docs out there that talk about assembling dot to dot, but then rotating the engine 180 degrees out. It's really uh, it's really funny how it's still a mystery, but it for some reason still is. But that's how you do it to so get your engine fired up right the first time. And not only that, what we've also found is top dead center on the number one cylinder. Check that out. It's almost like it was meant to be that way or something. Who knew? All right, guys, now that is about it for this video. If you want to know how to measure piston depth at top dead center, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, I got some stuff to paint, make kind of pretty, so we can move on with this build. I hope the video was helpful to you guys. If it was, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Get out there and dive in your next project. Catch you next time.